Uh, I think the exciting thing about Wickham Hospital is that we provide an emergency service for cardiac patients, which is probably unrivaled compared to other hospitals in the country in that all cardiac patients can get direct admission to see cardiology juniors and a cardiology senior as the first medical contact. The trust this year has made some rather large investments into developing a second cardiac cath lab. That will allow us to treat more patients who presently move out of area. For example, patients with the heart muscle disease at the moment have to go to Oxford or to London to receive special types of pacemakers which resynchronize their heart. From next year we'll be able to do all of these locally but most importantly it's much more convenient and pleasant for the patients. Cardiac clinical research has made a difference. Our Care for Today cardiac rehabilitation programme is, has recently been recognised. Patients within Buckinghamshire have the opportunity of receiving the treatments of tomorrow, today, through clinical research. Hi, Hi Sam. Good morning, my love. I've got more of a balance. They've encouraged me to do whatever I can for myself, so it's made me completely independent. There's quite a broad range of patients because we deal with two ends of the spectrum in stopping people from going into hospital, so quite a rapid response. And then we also deal with patients that are coming out of hospital, so maybe following a recent operation or trauma or falls are quite common. It hit me hard, but I overcome it with the help of these ladies because their confidence in me gave me a boost and I look forward to them coming. In March, I was unfortunate to be in a car accident and um, that led to me having broken bones in my legs and also my back, which damaged my spinal cord. I was told I would never walk again and chances are I would never have feeling again from this area of my body downwards. Over time of being on St Andrew's Ward, uh, the fantastic help that I had from the nurses and the healthcare assistants, I uh, gradually got some feeling in my left toe. I then had complete feeling in my left leg and movement as well. The physios and the occupational therapists here and the team in hydrotherapy want to concentrate on my standing and they want to get me up every day, do more physio work. Um, we are starting to send like slight electrodes through my um, like to stimulate my muscles. I take part in the numerous activities and sports that they have here. Not only does the rehab and the physio work to get you better, but I think up here in the mind, um, if you're getting out there, meeting people, it all counts. It's fingers crossed that I might be walking when I get out of here. You never know. I want to stay at home. I'm. I live alone, but I have a lot of help, and I'm happy doing my own thing. I was getting terribly clumsy and dropping everything and falling over things, and if anything could be spilt, I would spill it. But I really was, well, not losing the plot, but I just wasn't me, and I, I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. I didn't ask to be 90, and I've got to make the best of it. Everything was absolutely marvellous. I had a very good welcome and um, people were so nice and they explained what would be happening. They asked me what I'd been doing. I explained all about these falls and they explained that I would see a doctor and, and a physiotherapist at which point my heart quailed, um, but it was fine actually, and an OT. So off we went and it was brilliant. Some of the exciting things that we've been trying to innovate on and drive have included uh, introducing a new enzyme treatment uh, for the care of burns patients. This is something which has been uh, widely used across Europe and we're one of the first departments to introduce that uh, service into the UK. Along with this, we've also been supported by ScanAppeal um, to purchase a special laser machine which helps to change and enhance scarring in burns patients which is a fantastic addition to the service which is again uh, the only second um, service in the UK for burns patients. We started working with the team here in about spring um, because Dave's got talipes and also metatarsal adductus. The three sessions that we've had with Laura, always very friendly. Yeah. 
have a lot of fun. It's not like she's being mauled around or anything. So as part of the integrated therapies team, um, so I'm a physio, but I work alongside very closely with the speech and language therapists and the occupational therapists. Um, and we often work very closely together um, with a child um, to um, make sure that all of their therapy needs are covered together um, to give them a best possible start in life, really. So in January this year, we expanded our service. We now take patients from East Berkshire as well as from Buckinghamshire. We take patients from Windsor, Slough and Maidenhead. And even though we've increased the percentage of patients by about 50%, so half as many again, we've managed to maintain our A rating. Well, it seems to me as though it's a seamless transition between one bed here and uh, the overall uh, in Amish. The uh, physios and the... Uh, and the, and the junior physios have uh, done a first class job. And we've managed to invest in therapy services and psychology, junior doctor support, all of as, as a result of a critical mass of patients. And we're seeing our patients through into the community. We've now also expanded our, um, our involvement in community stroke support with a new um, Bucks community stroke support service. So we're following our patients right the way through the pathway. Mm -hmm.